This Detroit PAX update is brought to you by Magic the Gathering, Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. Hey guys, I'm here at PAX, and I'm with the lovely Miss Jennifer Hale, who you probably know, you've heard her voice before. I mean, that's that's not negotiable. <laughs> um, currently, you are you are like Bioware's golden girl. You are, you are in Mass Effect 3, obviously, yes. as uh, female Commander Shepard, yep. and you're in uh, the Old Republic as well, yeah, that's right? I am, yes. Hi. Um, first question. Yeah. Um, so, Commander Shepard, they, they decided her hair color. Yeah. She's a redhead. She is. What's what what's your stance on that? I love it. You love it? I love it. She's a pissed off blonde. ginger. Bring yeah, it. I just there's so many gingers in the video game industry. There's so many I've redheads. played so many gingers. Yeah. I rarely play a brunette, which That's is weird. True. I play blondes strange. or redheads. So obviously you've you've gotten pretty familiar with, with being Commander Shepard. Yeah. Um a little bit. Yeah. What what's your what's your what's your experience when you play the game? I'm assuming you played it? Have you I played once. Yeah? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was fun. I really liked it. Um, the, a guy named Tom Bissell, who's a great writer, um, interviewed me, and for the interview, he uh, it was for the New Yorker. He had me sit down and play the game for an hour, and it was a trip. I'm, unfortunately, I'm really busy, and yeah. when I have free time, I like to go outside. I like to go rock climbing or jump on a horse or do yeah. something like I, that. I completely but, understand. I mean, but, video yeah. games are fun, but they, they take up a lot of time. They do, and I spend so much time doing them and living in them from my end of it. I kind of get my fix. Yeah. yeah. Um. One of the things that, that I, I just recently played Mass Effect 2, and I, I really got into it. It kind of it took me a second, but I suddenly I was Hold on. Just... You were Fem Shep, right? Actually, I wasn't. My, oh, my, I know. I it's totally, over. I totally it's regret over. it. My, he looks like Channing Tatum. He dude, looks like a douchebag. I'm just dude, like, ugh. Dude, come on. You know, my Commander Shepard is, he's kind of like Zap Brannigan in Futurama. He's just like this, this asshole in space. I'm ready to punch someone, and you're too close. Um, the thing that I think that... Just try a little fem chat. I'm, oh, I'm going to. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm starting a new file when I get okay, home. Okay, good. It's stupid. Good. But, um, the romance is, is yeah. one of the kind of <laughs> the things. Uh, how, do you, how do you get in character for that? How well, do you you're in character. I'm in character already because I'm doing it. And then that character just happens to dig somebody or love them, you know? Or both. Shut up and get over here. Make me. I'm told there's a there's a new character in the third one who's a who's a gentleman, um, and there's I don't I heard a rumor that there's uh, the possibility that that the the male shepherd can uh, can do things with this this new gentleman character. So, can, have you been recording any? Uh, have when you, you been hitting on anybody? Have you been? Commander Shepard always hits on someone if she gets this a is chance. True. If it's appropriate, and we're not on a mission. But as far as ME3 goes, once you start asking me questions about three, this is all I hear. La, 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 la. Oh Can't tell you. Can't okay, tell you. Okay, well, let's switch over to the Old Republic. No, there's a large beam trained on me. If I speak of ME3, it will vaporize Ooh. me. Okay, but the Old Republic. You, yeah. You, you were in uh, KOTOR as well, right? Yes, I was. And um, who's your character in the Old Republic? I am uh, Bastila and um, uh, Satil and uh, also the female trooper. What is... What do you do for that? What does that entail? Who's your character? Who is... Bastila is Bastila because she's always been, you know, Bastila. Satil is uh, awesome. I'm not going to say any more than that because we're not released yet. And female trooper, she's tough. She's a little, you know. Uh, female uh, trooper. Yeah. That's right. That's, that's a character there. I mean, yeah, right. You're also in Bulletstorm. Yeah. Is there any word of a sequel to that? No word yet, but it was really fun to do. We had a really good time, and it seems to be pretty popular. You got to say a lot of weird stuff in that. Oh my gosh! Did I ever? Did yeah. I ever? Trishka has some serious there were things some strange lines in her mouth. Lines in that. I know. It was fun. Um, I, I put out a, a call on Twitter just to see if there's any questions people had for you. Yeah. Are there any projects you're working on that you want to know about, or oh. that you want to tell people about? That... Uh, you know, I can't say. You can't. It hasn't say? been released. I, I can tell you about the animation, not the games. Okay. I'm working on Avengers, uh, Wolverine and the X-Men, um, the Green Lantern. Uh, some other stuff along those lines, and uh, a project for Lucas that I can't talk about, but it's an animated series. Yeah. So who haven't you voiced again? I know. <laughs> is, there, is there any character that you'd want to voice? If you could voice anybody. You know, anything mocap. I love working mocap. It's really? that things only just started, and I love doing mocap. 
You get yeah. to you get to not talk and just no. You get to move actually around. actually no. It's uh, now with the way we're doing it, we're capturing everything. Oh wow. We're capturing the whole because I like it because if I've given the voice life to something, I want to give it its physical life too, and I can do it. So Mass Effect Three is it's kind of the big one in the series. Things yeah, are is. getting shit is getting real. Like, oh, so real. Um, is it is it more intense recording? It is. The thing about Mass Effect Three is you know Shepard's evolved. She's you know been through one and two and all the experiences of that plus everything that happened to her before. And in three, everything's more intense. The decisions you make are more intense. The res consequences of those decisions way more. And the Reapers are the biggest and worst enemy yet. So it's on in three. Yeah, it's it's scary. I got I was like a little yeah, bit yeah, worried. Right. I'm like, oh, they're, they're coming and be bothering afraid. us. It's terrible. Be very afraid. On a lighter note, who's your who's your favorite character in the Mass Effect universe? And who's your least favorite? Because I uh, fucking hate Jacob. He really? annoys the shit out of me. Udina. I can't stand it. Dina drives me nuts. Really? Oh, are you kidding? The council and the politics? I hate the politicians. They that drive me sense. nuts yeah. in life and in the game. Um, I hate's a strong word. I dislike them <laughs> a lot. And then I love I love my henchmen. I love like my Liara and my Garrus and you know, everybody. Yeah. I love, you know, I love oh, my, my crew. I got Thane on board. And, and Joker. I, yeah. Joker rock. I see, I've watched too much Robot Chicken, so I'm just tired of Seth Green's <laughs> voice at this point. It's just, anyway. Thank you so much for Thank your time. You. Looking yeah. forward to Mass Effect yeah. 3 and the Old Republic. And thanks Jennifer to everybody Hale. out there. Woo. Hey guys, just a quick note to mention that all of our PAX coverage this year is brought to you by Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. They've got the full version of the game up right now on XBLA, PSN, and Steam, and I really can't recommend checking it out enough. They've got a free demo up, so if you're not sure whether you want to check it out yet, it's great for learning. It's got an awesome tutorial for, be for beginners, or if you're a seasoned Magic veteran and you just want to perfect your craft. 2012 is a great updated version of the original game. It's got new deck managers, it's got an enhanced co-op mode, and it's got the new arch enemy mode, which allows you to play against three different people as a super powerful creature. And they're going to have an expansion pack coming out on September 14th of this year that actually lets you play as the arch enemy. So be sure to check those games out. They're a lot of fun. I really can't recommend them enough.